The internet is vast, most people only see the surface, but beneath, hidden from casual view lies another world, the dark web, a place shrouded in secrecy and anonymity. It's a place where the curious and the cautious alike tread carefully. What will you find there? You'll find whispers of forbidden knowledge. You'll find marketplaces peddling illicit goods. You'll find communities existing outside the norms of society. But be warned, the dark web is not for the faint of heart. It is a place of real danger. It's crucial to understand the risks before you venture in. To understand the dark web, we need to talk about the internet's structure. Imagine three layers. The surface web is the top layer. This is the internet most people know. It's where you find Google, Facebook, and Amazon. These sites are indexed by search engines and easily accessible. Below the surface web lies the deep web. This layer is not indexed by standard search engines. It contains content that is not publicly available. Think online banking portals, private forums, and cloud storage services. Access often requires login credentials. The dark web is the deepest layer, it's a small part of the deep web, but it's the most secretive and controversial. The dark web is home to hidden websites. These websites use encryption tools to mask their location and the identities of their users. So how do you access this hidden world? You need a special tool, the Tor Browser. Tor stands for the Onion Router. It's free software that allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Think of it as a cloak of invisibility for your online activity. Here's how it works. When you use a regular browser, your internet activity is traceable. Your internet service provider, ISP, can see the websites you visit. They can even track your physical location. But when you use Tor, your internet traffic is routed through a network of volunteer-operated servers around the world. This process makes it extremely difficult to trace your online activity back to you. Think of it like this. You want to send a secret message to a friend. Instead of sending it directly, you give it to a series of messengers. Each messenger only knows who gave them the message and who to deliver it to. They don't know the original sender or the final recipient. That's how Tor protects your anonymity. The anonymity offered by Tor is a double-edged sword. It protects users, but it also attracts criminal activity. So before you download Tor, you need to take precautions. Firstly, ensure your operating system and antivirus software are up to date. This step will help protect you from malware. Secondly, cover your webcam and microphone when not in use. This precaution prevents potential surveillance. Thirdly, be wary of what information you share online. Even on the dark web, avoid giving out personal details. Remember, the dark web is a different beast. Familiar websites might have unfamiliar counterparts. Be cautious of phishing scams. These scams try to trick you into revealing personal information. Downloading and installing Tor a step-by-step -step guide. Ready to proceed? Here's how to download and install the Tor browser safely. First, visit the official Tor project website. Use a reliable search engine like Google. Search for Tor project. Look for the official website, torproject.org. Next, download the Tor browser. On the Tor project website, you'll find a download button. Click it to download the correct version for your operating system, whether it's Windows, MacOS, or Linux. Then verify the download. Before installing, it's crucial to verify the download. This step ensures you have the legitimate Tor browser and not a malicious copy. You can do this by checking the file's digital signature. Instructions for verification are on the Tor project website. After that, install the Tor browser. Once the download is verified, double-click the file to start the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions. Finally, connect to the Tor network. After installation, open the Tor browser. It will automatically connect to the Tor network. This process might take a few moments. Once connected, you can start browsing the internet anonymously. Navigating the Onion Labyrinth. Now you're on the Tor network, you're ready to explore the dark web. But how do you find anything? Dark websites use a different domain name system than the surface web. Instead of .com, .org, or .net, they use a onion. These a onion addresses are not human readable, they look like random strings of letters and numbers. To find a onion websites, you'll need a dark web search engine. One example is amia.fi. This search engine indexes .onion sites and allows you to search for content. Be warned. Many .onion websites are illegal or dangerous. Be extremely careful about the links you click and the content you access. The Perils of the Dark Web 
The dark web is shrouded in mystery. It's easy to get caught up in the intrigue, but it's vital to remember the risks. The anonymity of the dark web attracts criminal activity. You might encounter marketplaces selling drugs, weapons, and stolen data. You might stumble upon forums dedicated to hacking, extremism, and other illicit activities. Law enforcement agencies are aware of the dark web. They are constantly working to infiltrate and shut down criminal operations. Don't assume you are anonymous and untraceable. Tread carefully, a final warning. This guide has provided you with the tools and knowledge to access the dark web. But remember, knowledge is power, and power should be used responsibly. The dark web is a double-edged sword. It can be a tool for privacy and freedom, but it can also be a dangerous place. Use it with caution. Use it responsibly. Understand the risks. And most importantly, always prioritize your safety and security.